Hi, and welcome to this episode of GTP TV. My name is Rowan Brown, I'm one of the accountants here at Green Tailor Partners. Today, I'm going to be discussing paid maternity leave and how it relates to your software. We'll be focusing primarily on the MYB Account Right Plus software today. However, a lot of the things we'll be looking at you can easily apply to other software programs. If you've got any questions about them, certainly contact your uh, supplier or whoever supports your software and they will be able to help you in setting up your software much in the same way as we're going to be doing today with MYB Account Right Plus. On the page right now, we, we have the resource to Centrelink's page relating to the paid maternity leave. There's a wealth of information here on this page and a really good question and answers section. There's also eligibility calculators built into their web page where you can go through, put in your individual circumstances and it will help you make a decision as to whether you should claim the paid maternity leave or the baby bonus. One of the big issues with the paid maternity leave is that it is generally paid to your employer who then pays you in their normally, normal pay cycles. However, it is taxed unlike the baby bonus. We'll just jump into the MYB software now and we'll have a look at the, what things you may need to do to set it up. Under the payroll categories page in your MYB, the first tab will come up is a wages tab. Now one of the things you probably best to do is actually set up a new wage item because it will make it easier to uh, turn off things such as superannuation calculating on that as opposed to turning it off on your normal pay. So we'll click the new button and we might call this paid maternity leave. And generally you'll choose the same pay method as you do with your other employee employees. Generally when I set up payroll I normally use an hourly method. So it would normally be paid, in this case we'll just leave it at their normal, one times the normal rate, but you will have to probably customise that in their pay periods to be paying the actual amount that the paid maternity leave is, which they're eligible for. So I'll just click OK at this stage. Now one of the things is that superannuation and leave accruals do not apply whilst the employee is on paid maternity leave. So we'll go into the superannuation and under the superannuation guarantee tab, we'll now go to the exempt section and you'll exempt that paid maternity leave. So if we scroll down, you can see the paid maternity leave down the bottom here. So as you put a little tick in there, that means whenever it's calculating superannuation now, it will not pay it based on that. Therefore, if you've got an employee that is still taking annual, they may be taking their annual leave as part of their maternity leave, you they would still be getting superannuation on that, but not the paid maternity leave. As I said before, we also click OK to get out of there. As I said before, we'll also be changing the entitlements. So in this case, I've set the employee up to be hourly. So I, again, I'll exempt this, click exempt, scroll down and click the pay maternity leave. Therefore, it will not calculate leave on the pay maternity leave time that we've allocated. Just click OK. You do the same for your sick leave. And that's done. Now, if you're setting up people as salary based, there is no ability to change the exempt section in here. Therefore, you'll have to ensure that you do not pay them or let them accrue leave when you actually record the pay. So, it's just an important thing. Now, some people may wish to take that employee off by clicking employee. And we we'll assume it's Sue Smith in this example. You would just take the tick off Sue Smith. Therefore, it won't calculate annual leave in this circumstance. And you do the same for the, the sick leave whilst they are receiving paid maternity leave. And you do have an issue if they are actually t on taking some annual leave at the start of their maternity leave period because you would need to accrue annual leave and sick pay whilst they are on those leave entitlements, but not for the paid maternity leave position. So that's just a couple of things you need to be aware of. If you've got other deductions and calculations set up in your payroll, such as deducting of union fees and items like that, you may also need to customise them so they don't get calculated based on the paid maternity leave position. I hope this has been of assistance. Thank you.